Welcome back to Genuine Gora guys. This is the second video about Java FX Scene Builder and in this video I will talk about making the responsive user interfaces for your Java FX application. In the last video we have seen how to use Angle Pane and in this video I will show you how to make use of the border pane to arrange elements in such a fashion that it will readjust itself based on the size of the window. So in the border pane there are five slots available the top, left, center, right, bottom. So at first let us create or oh, let us add a menu uh, into the uh, top section of the border pane. So I'm going to paste it right here menu bar. In the last video we have used angle pane and set constraints for this menu bar but in this case it is much more simple and easier to design all that we have to do is to drag and drop into the top section so now we got the menu bar and if you go to the preview section and resize the window you can see that the menu bar is also increasing its width and the next thing we have four slots left and suppose we want a status bar right here for showing some cool status then you can do that by adding another pane suppose we want to add an angle pane in the bottom section then you can drag and drop it into the bottom section so now we got the angle pane right here you can uh, decrease the size or make the size you want and put it right there in order to make it visible more clearly I'm going to set the background color using the style section so FX background color and let the background color be black so that's it and if you go to the preview section and uh, resize the window you will see that the status bar is working as ex expected and uh, we have three slots left suppose we want to add a tab pane then I'm going to add a tab pane in the center section and now it covers the entire center area including the left and right section since we are having added one and suppose you also want to add a toolbar in the right or left section and in that case I'm going to add a V box a vertical box in the right section so as you can see we got a toolbar in the section and in order to make it more visible I'm going to set the background color to something like gray okay I'm say I have set it to gray and I'm going to the preview section and this is what we got and now the toolbar is working fine we are getting the content increase I mean since we have placed this on the center it is increasing its size when we increase the size of the window and the toolbar says and the bottom status bar size is fixed in height and for this case it is width now suppose we want to add some buttons in the v box for using as a toolbar then i'm going to take a button and i'm going to place it in the v box right there i want to increase its size button and suppose i want a number of buttons so i am just uh, uh, clicking on it duplicate second button then I want four buttons and like that if I want four button and suppose I want to make this button fill the entire area to make it look more good then you can uh, click on the button and go to the layout section I have clicked this button in the layout section you can see that there is an option called preferred width and preferred height it is currently set to 59 if you set it to something like 150 then it will take the whole area available and if you go to the preview section and show preview size if you resize it the button will take the entire available area since it it will increase its height until it gets 150 suppose you want to add some graphics let's see how to add some graphic to the button or uh, some component suppose you want to add a icon for your button then it is pretty much simple you first you have to have an image view and I'm going to drag and drop the image view into the button so you can see that there is a option called insert graphic and I can place the graphics right there and I am going to change the uh, decrease the size of the image view and I am going to add an image for the button so I have some images stored in the icon folder 
and I am going to add this settings.png as you can see now for our button we have also an icon along with the text and the position of this graphic can be set by using the content display and it is currently set to left you can set it to top to make it on the top section or in the right to make it on the right section and etc etc so i am going to set it on the top and if you want to add this graphic for all the button then you can just use the paste in your option to add this feature so that's about it guys that's how you make use of the border pane to build some responsive ui and you have also seen how to make the content fill the entire area available in the vbox and as always thank you for watching the video and subscribe for more cool videos